Hi, Taurus. It's with a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Taurus strongly in their chart, uh, but it may not fit for everyone. Um, we all are different ages. We're going through different life experiences. Um, we live all around the world. So from my perspective, and it is my belief that not all Taurus people are going through the, t the same, um, the, are living the same life template. All right. That said, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space exactly how you are. Um, you're welcome here and I'm happy to have you. Let's see what is going to be coming forward for um, the sign of the sign of Taurus. Next immediate energy. Now, Taurus, this could be seven to ten days, two weeks, three weeks. We'll kind of have a little bit of a better idea um, when we get into the reading, but it is, um, it would be arrogant of me to put a time frame on because this is a message for you. This is a message that is being brought forward, forward through me for a group of Taurus people. And um, I just feel like it's not within my jurisdiction to put a, a a time frame on it, but I am asking for the next immediate energy. And for me, when I ask for this, I am using a period of several weeks to a month. Um, seven to ten days is what I prefer, but I just feel like most of these readings are, are maybe not seven to ten days. They're more like two weeks or three weeks. That's kind of how I feel about most of them. You will know for yourself. Next immediate future, please. Next immediate future. Next immediate future, please, for, for Taurus. Next immediate, whoa, jeez. Next immediate future for Taurus. Next immediate future for Taurus. Next immediate future for Taurus. This is the Wheel of the Year Tarot. I really like this deck. It's the deck I'm having a real fad on right now. I can work with it really well. It kind of goes back to my roots. I'm a farmer, farmer from a farmer family, so um, the energies work really well for me. Nine of Pentacles energy, the High Priestess, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. Well, this is an incoming energy. I feel like this energy could be coming towards you because you have a very stable energy here. And then there's this incoming energy. So um, you you have this. We have the nine of pentacles energy with the high priestess. You have this is for a group of people that are um, experiencing balance in your life. You are experiencing some sort of a um, a an improvement in finances. Something here with the Nine of Pentacles is an energy of um, experiencing your own earnings, um, living in your own income, being self-reliant, having independence, enjoying the windfall. Doesn't have to be about money. This could be about feeling independent. This could be Remember, this energy can f energy can fit over anything. It is all encompassing. It can fit over a country. It can fit over a group of people. It can fit over a person. It can fit over anything. Energy can fit over anything. So, this is somebody who is um, an enjoying individual freedom to make the decisions that they can they wish to make to make the expenditures the purchases that they wish to make to wear the clothes that they wish to wear to enjoy their life as they see fit so there is some sort of independence that this group is feeling 
doesn't have to be about money, but most often it does have something to do about with money. And let's be real. Money is a considerable focus in all of our lives because without being able to trade to purchase, what will we have? It brings stability. It's a pentacle energy. We have it next to the high priestess, next to the six of pentacles. There is two, there are two energies here, two different energies. The high priestess is an energy and the knight of swords is an energy. This high priest is an inner internal knowing. She could be very quiet about this. This energy, whether it's a man or a woman, doesn't matter at all. It's an energy that goes over the top of the person. It's like it puts a lens over that person. They just show me like, you can put a lens of the Knight of Pentacles and you'll be going around blue. And you could put a lens over the High Priestess and you could be going around looking green. It changes who you are. It changes the coloring of who you are. It also changes how people see you because of something visual that they've showed me. So we have the high priestess here. This is an internal knowing. There could be a very quiet sense about you, but the high priestess can get things done. She gets things done in a very quiet, knowing, masterful way. She knows what to share and what not to share. She has control over her heart center, over her mouth, over her feet and hands. She controls it. And it's not really she that's controlling it. It's her connection with divine energy that helps to control it. It's her connection with who she is, her connection with her intuition. For me, intuition comes from the base chakra and the womb chakra. It's the energy that settles very calmly deep down and kind of twists just a little bit and goes into place down in your pelvic area. It settles. And when you get that settling feeling, you know, this is the answer. This is the way to go. This is what it means. This is the epiphany. It's something that settles deep down within you in your pelvic area, in your lower abdomen area that allows you to be very balanced and at peace. You might, for, for some time, you could have been working previously, previously a year ago or six months ago or whenever this was for you. You could have been really scattered and not really sure what you were going to do, how you were going to do it. You might not have really been grounded you might have had a hard time really connecting into the earth, connecting into the heavens, so whatever religion, doesn't matter. Whatever belief system, it's a, it's, it's, it's a connection. It's a connection with what brings you guidance and which builds the inner self of who you are. And whatever has happened for you, you have really come into this period of time in, in stability, in enjoying life, in reaping rewards, in some sort of independence or new stability that it allows you to enjoy yourself in a way that you perhaps have never been before. And it's because of this high priestess energy, internal knowing, quietness, balance, intuition. The high priestess, if she has a situation, if she has a problem, she rarely goes around in the community and talks to a bunch of people and, and she understands what she does is she goes home, gets into her sanctuary place, gets very quiet. This is how I do it, but other people could exercise, right? Other people could do it other ways, but it's the same kind of thing. You find quiet in this, whether you're running or you're meditating, you find an inner quiet. Find quiet, you go back into the subconscious, back into a meditative state, you, you find it uh, an attachment. You find a place where you're not so, you, you find a calmness. You find a calmness within yourself. And then you begin to seek the answers from within yourself. That's the high priestess. I always feel like she's the soul of the empress. Because remember the empress is balanced in the external world. Well, that's the emperor. But there's something about the empress that's out in the world as well. Remember, she's creating. She's bearing fruit. She's ha ha pregnant sometimes. That's something that can be seen. That's taking action, right? She's pregnant. She's growing it. She's producing it. She's creating it. 
the high priestess, I feel, is like the soul of the empress. Because remember, the empress is balanced. The internal, pri the high priestess is balance of the soul. Balance of the soul. This is you, Hierophant, Taurus energy. Here you are, six of pentacles, have en having enough money to pay your bills. Put some in ret for retirement or in savings. And then going out into the community, either giving or having fun, enjoying yourself, understanding the value of the exchange of money and services, and being generous with that because you have it to give. You might have had some periods of time where you didn't have any to give, and that can really diminish the soul when you can't give. You know, it can really hurt the soul, hurt the heart. So this energy is something, both of these energies are something really to um, find a lot of happiness within. So you're in a, this group of Taurus people are in a really good place. Now there's an energy coming towards you here. And I don't know what it is. This is what I'm looking at for what's coming in next. So I don't know what it is, but there's an energy coming towards you. It's an energy of truth. So there's, there's some sort of a person coming in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could be a truth coming in. Could be someone coming in with some news for you. But there's some sort of incoming energy. It's quick. It's honest. And it could be somewhat surprising. It could jerk you up. Like, what? Could, you know, make this high priestess say what? When she's been quiet in previous days. But there's something that's happening here that uh, here you are. It's like, here you are in this really beautiful place, and then there's this incoming energy. You're, you're going <laughs> to... This is a beautiful place. This is almost like a dream state right here. And this is energy coming in and look how you, here's the seven of wands. Look, you're putting up sandbags here. You're putting up sandbags. You're like, oh, this is my happy place. This is my happy place. What, what is this? Hangman. There's somebody coming in here with some kind of a message here. Whoever's coming in here has some baggage, but the, it's a fool energy. There could be someone coming in here who wants to start something new with you, who wants to engage with you, who wants to go on a journey with you, but they could be self-promoting. They could say they've had a, um, a, a um, they've seen it from a different perspective. They've seen the light. They've waited, they've worked, they've seen new perspectives um, about this conflict, about this battle. Okay, so this could be anyone here. Could be an old lover, could be a spouse, could be a family member, could be a work partner. There's some sort of fool energy here, something new that they're coming forward. They're coming forward with this message here. The fool energy. Wanting to take a leap of faith. Wanting to do something new. Look how the energies have changed. Now, I'm not saying you should do this. Because this is insanely beautiful. See how the energies... We have the Seven of Wands. Bracing for a flood. We have the Hangman. A new perspective. Seeing things a different way. Five of Swords, some kind of conflict here. And then we have the Fool. So whatever this is, this is somebody that you've probably had some sort of a history with or that you know about. Or maybe it's someone new that's coming in that has quite a story. They could have a story. They could have quite a story. They could be rough around the edges. Right? It's, it doesn't have to be somebody that you've known before, but this person has a story. 
and they can be rough around the edges. They can be really abrupt, really direct, because they have a story here. And here they're coming in for something new, a new journey, to a leap of faith. All right, so let's go into the future here and see what this is. Wait. Night. I put the... There we go. Okay, let's go into the future and see who this is. Eight of Swords. Ace of Wands. Emperor in the reverse. This is the one that flipped across the table. Remember that? The lover's energy. My hand's a little bit shaky. Knight of Wands. Strength. Chariot. The lover, or the two of cups over the top of the lovers. What in the world? <laughs> somebody is coming, is, is coming in, or somebody is coming quite passionately. And here you are. Here you are. This person, it feels like they see, and where is that flood? They really having to push through strongly. They're really having to push through strongly. So this, you could have quite a, you, <laughs> look, this high priestess energy and how beautiful this is for you right now. She has quite a wall. The high priestess can have quite a thick wall because she has become the high priestess because, because of the experiences that she's been in. Right. Lots of times we need um, events that happen to us that kind of force us to look within. Right. The times in my life that I've gone through um, harsh situations, it has really helped to teach me how to go within and to find a connection, an internal connection. It's really t those those situations have taught me a lot. Those situations have taught me to be a high priestess energy. Right. And when we're in that energy, we can have a wall. We can we can be very we, we are not needy. We are not needy people in the high priestess. We're very strong. We might not say a whole lot. We might not publicize things and put it out there for other people to see. But we're effective. We're successful. And we're strong. And we have that's kind of an energetic wall. So whatever this is. This person has really is working hard to break through this some sort of wall here. I think this is going to really maybe perhaps take you back a step here with the Eight of Swords. I think you're, you're going to be looking for answers here. I don't think it's going to trap you. But the way this comes in, so quick, so passionate, so enthusiastic, so passionate with this new chemistry, new passion, new action here. Doesn't have to be love, but for many of you, this is a love story, Taurus. Doesn't have to be though, okay? These energies are not just about love, but for many of you, this could be a love story that's starting up or that's trying to start up. This person is coming in because for some reason, coming in is a Knight of Wands energy, so fast and falling over each, each other's feet or something here. I'm, it's it's kind of a like a clumsy entrance perhaps, because there is so much passion here, and there it's hard to kind of get control here of what they want to say, what they want to do. It's hard because see this card came in like this. It's hard for them to kind of get control of this energy. But this card is here. So I think that they are working on this. They mean the best. They mean well. But because this card is like this, that's why it's the Knight of Wands. Whatever this is, there is so much excitement, exuberance, enthusiasm, passion here 
um, this Ace of Wands that's here that this person is bringing in. This person is bringing in some sort of new action, new passion. It doesn't have to be love. It can be new, a new project, a new business idea, a new goal, a new hobby, um, a new vacation to go on. Somehow, though, it's coming in so powerfully and you're in such a safe and secure place that you really have to work to find meaning of this and question this. Here's the emperor, emperor in reverse here. So something all of a sudden is out of control for you. There could be someone here that's wanting to control a situation too, wanting to control this situation. So this person could feel like it could, this person could be controlling, but I'm wondering if this is you here sort of out of control with the emperor in reverse, wanting to control your situation because it's taken a lot of control for you to get here with the Knight of Pentacles, the high, the high priestess and the Pentacles. And look, here's the high priestess and we're talking about Taurus, who's a higher font. So we have like an energy of um, some sort of partnership here or something here. But whatever the case is, the emperor is in reverse, which tells me that there could be a battle of control here, a battle of control. Because remember, when the emperor is in reverse, things are a little bit out of control. And when things are a little bit out of control, the emperor energy becomes very controlling and grumpy and on edge. It's not necessarily a comfortable energy to be the emperor in reverse. But look, we have the chariot over the top of the emperor in reverse. So it does feel like there is, as you move into the future, some sort of settling in on this energy, settling in. So I, I like that this knight of wands is over the top of the eight of swords and you move from the eight of swords into the chariot energy. This is coming in. We have... Look at these forward motion energies. We have the Knight of Wands, the Strength energy, and the Chariot energy. So this is coming in over the top of the Ace of Wands. So there's an incoming situation here. It could be an Aries. It could feel like you might lose all of the control that you have in your life, all of the balance, all of the success. But we have the lover's energy here with the two of cups. So I think for some of you, it's almost like this is your row and this is the other person's row. And here you are feeling like this new passion, this new action might put everything out of control. And then we have some decision here that you're making about a partnership. So we have this need here to be, to balance, to balance yourself, to bring the emperor into into the upright to, to balance the situation, to find the peace in it, to find the balance, to sink back, to find the, the high priestess within you again, right? We're going to bring the high priestess back in here. Underneath, they say, underneath. High priestess is here. And bring this emperor into the upright. You don't have to take action. You can slow down the Knight of Wands. You can wait. You can think about it. You can investigate. You can ask questions. But there is going to be some kind of a, a, an, a decision that you're going to make about this partnership with the Two of Cups. And it's going to require you to, to move the Emperor to take this energy of feeling out of control and with the High Priestess energy, bring it back into balance again. So go find your area, your place that, that you can find balance and, and find internal guidance within or where you can connect with the, with guidance with your spiritual team to help bring in, um, inner strength and, uh, that reconnect you to the knowingness of who you are and how, um, how strong you are internally. It's the internal balance is going to bring in the external. Remember what I was saying about the Empress, how the high priestess energy I feel is like the soul of the Empress. Well, here you have the high priestess with the emperor, right? So there's some kind of connection here with inward balance and calm and, and being intuitive and understanding that you have strength. You can move forward slowly. You don't have to, 
say everything here. You don't have to give away everything of yourself here. You can be in control of this situation. Be very careful now in how you express yourself, in what you say, in how much you give away of yourself. You don't have to give everything away of yourself. Remember the high priestess is very, what she gives of herself, she almost gives to her spiritual team, right? What she would early in her life, she would spew out or to tell people or to tell an incoming person or family or a lover. She would tell all these things. She would open up herself. She would give everything of herself. Now she does that with her spiritual team. That's what, who she does it with. She talks with them. She shares with them. She confesses to them. Whatever her spiritual guidance is, her religion, that connection is very strong. And that brings her into that empress energy, that internal balance. And if we're talking about an emperor energy here, it's going to help bring balance to her decisions with the lover's energy. We could have a partner here with the emperor and the high priestess energy. Now, this person is coming forward, is learning really how to manage the, the desire, the enthusiasm, coming forward directly with the chariot energy, cancer energy, Leo energy, Sagittarius energy, or Aries or Leo, Aries energy, Gemini energy, partnership, two of cups, could be a love interest here, could be a new business partner, could be a community member, but there's definitely a connection here. Have We have the lover's energy underneath the two of cups. So this could be a love situation. It could be a love situation. Um, it doesn't have to be, it can be any type of a partnership here, but a rule that I think is fair to say is that this partnership has complementary energies. You have a yin person, and a yang person. You have the emperor, you have an emperor or an empress and an emperor or the high priestess and the hierophant, right? You have two people that their energies complement and enhance the totality of it. Wow. All right, let's look at guidance. Already shuffled it. Death energy, Scorpio. Page of Cups. Three of Pentacles. <sighs> well, here's what I'm getting with the transformation en energy. Um, we, we really can't really gauge if we're truly transformed or not until we begin to actively engage in a new situation. And I think what's coming in here is some sort of a new situation, something new where you're going to actually take this transformative energy, this, this knowledge that you have now, this new life that you're in, and you're going to prove to yourself how much you've transformed. That's what I feel with this death energy. So you're going to, you have this new stability, you have this new inner wisdom, this new intuition, connection with the divine energy, and there's a situation that's coming in for you, and you're going to take everything that you learned here with this transform transformation, and you're going to put it into play. You're going to put it into practice. You're going to engage in the new way. There is some sort of <coughs> energy change. There is some sort of new, um, there is a new entrance of something here, a lover, a new job, a new hobby, something that warms your heart, some sort of message or some sort of incoming energy that warms your heart. It's not the Ace of Cups because it's a page of cups. So it's a message. It's something that is, that is heartwarming, that, that, um, it's a new introduction. It's a new, um, appeal for something. It's a new energy of inspiration. It, it's something that warms your heart. It's something that wasn't there before and it warms your heart. See, it's, it's like this new energy. 
how she's smelling the flower blossoms. It's springtime. That could be a timing card too. The springtime, the dove is there. Flowers, there's daffodils here. That's a springtime kind of energy here. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is an energy of working together on something, building something together, learning together. Um, this Three of Pentacles, you can see he's just finishing the mural or the painting, but you can tell like this is probably a very big building. There's probably much more of these frames, these murals to paint. But what's good about this, he's done the first one. So now he sort of knows like what paints, the, the, the paints, uh, whatever he knows, like whatever he's going to do. Maybe he has a plan. Maybe there's 20 of these arches and he has figured out now what type of paint, what style he likes. Um, he, he, he knows now from doing this first one how to do the rest, right? He's dug his feet in a little bit. He, he's... I don't know what I mean by dug his feet in a little bit. There's something wrong with that phrase that I use, and I know you guys are going to put it in the comment section. <laughs> but there is something that they're showing me with his feet and finding his footing, finding his footing, dug his feet. Oh, in the sand, dug his feet into the sand. Okay. So, you know, when you're on the beach and you stand for a while in the waves, your feet will get deeper into the sand. It's going to help to create um, stability for, for this energy. So it's a, it's a, stabi a stabilizing kind of energy here. It's a stabilizing kind of energy. So whatever this is, it's coming into, it's either already there at one time or it's already created. So if this person is coming in, they have something that sort of, in a way, and I, this is going to make sense for each and every one of you differently. It's a three of pentacles. It's something already from either from your perspective or for him or his perspective or, or for both of you. There's something that is very tangible about this. Very tangible. Maybe you already have a, um, a relationship in some way. Maybe you're friends already. Or maybe there you you could have had some sort of relationship in the past that was not what it is now that it's it's changing in some way because the three of pentacles is here and that tells me that there's something something that's already in existence whether it's from the past or whether it's happening now there's something that's already manifested in this and this is an energy of working together, growing, expanding. Three of Pentacles means that there's much more Pentacles as an opportunity to grow, an opportunity for abundance. Um, there is a, a very heartwarming energy, something new coming in here that warms your heart, that brings you to a new, um, beautiful, emotional place. And it's, gonna, it's going to um, allow you to practice whatever you've learned to practice it. All right. All right, Taurus, I am going to now move to the extended and I know which energies I'm going to dig into. Two of cups, <laughs> easy peasy lovers, ace of wands, knight of wands. I mean, yeah, knight of wands. Man, there's a lot of energy here. Well, I'm going to, I can either go into the Knight of Swords or the Knight of Wands, and I think I'm going to go into the Knight of Wands because I think that's what is over the top of the Eight of Swords, and that's what I think is going to be most helpful for you. The Knight of Swords comes forward within a truth, so I think that with the Knight of Swords, you're going to know. With the Knight of Wands, you might not know. So I'm going to, I'm going to go into the Knight of Wands. All right, I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to move forward into June and pull a couple of cards for each month. Now we know that timing is weird, so I'm going to do this, but for those of you that watch the extended, it's important to be flexible with timing because it, it's different for everyone. We all have different needle charts. We all move differently. So, okay, that's what I'm going to do. 
Um, Taurus, it was a pleasure. This reading was a, it was a beautiful reading. It's a real pleasure. And um, it's pretty exciting, honestly. It's really exciting. So I, I wish you all the best. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I really like that you're in such a stable place. I like that you have the high priestess. It makes me very comfortable with this new situation that's coming in. It makes me very comfortable that you'll be able to handle this in a way that is abundant and in a way that you can take care of yourself first and make sure um, that you're moving into something with the high priestess energy that you're not going to bring um, an energy of further turmoil, that you can keep things balanced and um, maybe work towards the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, because you're already at the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So um, it's it's a beautiful ascension in your energy. All right. Thank you, Taurus. It's, it's a pleasure.